this video is going to be just like the other one. I'm going to make it really quick. Uh, we're going to go over some materials that might come up in your Unit 1 IT Systems exam. Now, when you are asked about IT Systems, the chances are you're going to be asked about the factors that a person or a business should consider before choosing an IT system. So the first factor you can talk about is the user experience and the needs of the user. So ask yourself why a person or the business is using the IT system. So let's say that is a business that needed the IT system. The chances are their needs might focus on privacy and security. Whereas let's say there's a gamer, he's going to focus on performance. When it talks about user experience, let's say the user is an elderly person. You're going to need to focus on ease of use and the IT systems you recommend need to be easy to use. The chances are they're not doing anything complex, so any decent IT system that can do basic stuff should be alright. Now the next factor you could talk about is specifications, compatibility and connectivity. This might be more important for businesses or a person who needs certain requirements of software. Let's say there's a graphics designer and he needs his graphics tablet to connect to one of his laptops or his computers. This is something you can talk about because he needs to choose an IT system that you can connect and is compatible with one of his PCs or his computer. Another factor you can talk about is cost. Um, this can be more important for businesses or let's say students. So usually questions will give you information about the business or the user. So when you read them you can figure out whether the user has a lot of disposable income. Let's say it's a small business then you know that they will have a lot of extra income to spend on IT systems. Um, cost is a factor you can pretty much always talk about. If you're asked about factors to think about when choosing IT systems, um, you should always think about cost and privacy. The next factor you can talk about is efficiency and productivity. So when you do speak about efficiency and productivity, you need to link it to the user's needs and what they're using the IT system for. Um, let's go back to the example about the graphics designer. This can be a factor that the graphics designer might think about more than other users. The chances are he's going to need a more powerful device or IT system because he's moving around bigger files. So he's going to need a higher end machine. The next factor you can talk about is implementation. This is a bigger deal for businesses than other types of users. Let's say a business is looking to implement new IT systems. They're going to need to ask themselves all the questions in purple. Um, training is a big deal for a business because it takes time and money. And then another issue they need to think about is the data. So let's say they have old machines with all the data stored. They need to think about how they're going to move the data to the new systems and how long it's going to take. So let's say we're talking about a finance company in the question. The systems will need to be tested to make sure their privacy and security is up to date. The last factor we're going to talk about is security. This is probably one of the most important ones because it's applicable to almost all types of users. So let's say the question is about a finance company. You know that security is important when it comes to choosing an IT system because they're handling financial information about their customers. Or let's say the question is about one of the employees who's traveling for work. They might need to think about whether portable devices are appropriate because what if they get stolen and you've lost credit card information about one of your customers? So on the screen now I'll have a format question on factors you need to think about when choosing IT systems. So choose two different factors and explain why they must be considered when choosing an IT system in the workplace. Um, I'll leave you as that for this video. If you need any other types of videos just let me know in the comments. Bye bye.